What is going on guys? It's Riley's Moto Garage back at it. So since the last video, I have painted the these guys. They are just sitting up here, they're not tight or anything. So I did realize that on these upper bars I'm gonna need to get some washers. I'm not sure how the previous owner had them connected beforehand and staying there, but those bolts just go right through the hole that's there, so back ones are good, bottom ones are good. So, cage is all good there. I just think it looks a lot better, not red. I just wanted to black it out. Bikes are already black and it doesn't look the best, so let's make it all one color. Today's project, I'm going to be taking the headlight out to see if we can clear that up at all. And. So I've already looked, there's a bolt here and a bolt here, and two on that side are missing. So the bracket here on the top is broken, but the bottom one is fine. So maybe I can get down to the hardware store and find a bolt for that before I put it back in, just so there's three good ones. And from there, I have done some thinking on what I'm gonna do to the spike this year, and which is why I haven't made a video in a while which is my bad, sorry guys, but I think this year I'm just going to fix that headlight, put it back on, well first before I put it back on I'm going to take the forks and the rear shock to my job, rebuild those, get them back on the bike, put the front fairings back on without, I mean I might cut them, where are they here, look at the one big one. It's not broken. But like, I might put, like, where would it be? So this is the bottom of the bike. See, it would look weird with these cutouts here. But just something, I'd have to pull the other one up to see how much of the other one I have. But just something to make it look better than melted, broken plastics all over it. But just do the front end and put a new chain on it. Tires are still good, they're not dry rotted, still have decent tread. Like that's, I mean, it's still a decent tire. It's honestly probably newish. But I don't know where the date is on this thing. 21, so yeah, that's a new tire. Newish tires, a couple years old. Front's probably right there with it. Uh, I can't see the number, so, but, yeah, I just think, get it done in a couple weeks, three weeks or so, maybe, and just get it out on the road for the last couple of months of riding season up here in the northern part of the state, so, yeah, I'm going to get that headlight out and see what we can do on it to make it clear. All right, guys, as you can see, we got the headlight out. That's sitting right here. Sorry, I forgot to mention, I did just get over sickness, so I'm still a little stuffy, but we're just gonna use a headlight restore kit, sorry, and see what it'll do. Hopefully it'll get rid of some of this. Maybe we can sand off some of this paint. And yeah, so I'll let you know how that goes. guys so after all that just did a quick sanding it actually looks a little better but I am seeing sorry, I'm trying to hold it with one hand here I am seeing like right there and over here looks like it's on the inside so I'm not too worried about it you can see it it's not like this little show bike so 
good for me. So I'm going to get that back in there. Somehow get it situated in there because I actually realized all four tabs are broken for the headlight. And I don't really want to fix that because that includes new fairings. That'll be next year. So. Headlight's going back in. Maybe I'll get the shroud, get all this back ready to get put back on here. So my next step is to get these forks and rear shock out and get them to work and rebuilt. But yeah, so just want to do a short little video, do an update. And yeah, so on top of that, once this guy is done, I'm starting a longer project. So I can't remember the exact year, but it's like an 82 Yamaha XJ1100. It's a hardtail. It's got some custom work, as you can see. I am missing a pipe on this side. I don't have any gauges. I do have a wiring harness. I took the wiring harness off this thing because I seen a wire under the gas tank that was going from one coil pack to this coil pack. And the guy told me that he was having intermediate spark issues. So got rid of that. We're gonna figure out what we need to do to completely rewire this bike. It's old. I don't wanna deal with old 80s connectors that are brittle. It's a bobber. I gotta hide the wiring. I'm not gonna be able to hide the wiring the best when you got all this stock, bulky, so many wires running through here. So this is gonna be a longer project. We gotta get it running. Once we get it running, we then have to tear it completely down because when they bobbered it out, they never painted anything. We are gonna have to figure out the brakes. The caliper is just sitting in the frame right now. So. Got to figure the brakes out. Got to hook up the brakes. I'm sure front brakes work, I know that. Clutch. I can get it in the gear, but when I let the clutch out, it's still like it's in neutral, but I can feel it just grabbing. That's why you can see this turned almost all the way out. I was trying to get it to grab, and like it's grab, it's just starting to grab, so I think this might be the wrong cable. But we'll have to figure that out. And, I mean, just a bunch of little stuff. Lights, paint, you know. I'm going to have to take these forks into work. They are the nicer air forks for all the bikes. But we don't have anything in the rear to worry about. Maybe get the seat to be a little bit more... Oh, yeah, you can't. Let me be a little bit more sturdy and not going to fall off on me but yeah so i'll catch you guys next time and hopefully we'll have the forks and everything off i do have to build a structure that comes up over and holds the handlebars up while i have the forks off so you guys will see that next time and yeah see you then don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to keep following